Hello and welcome back to English with Fliss. Today we will be exploring the homophone, principle and principle. But before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and you can help my channel grow. So you will learn the difference between principle and principle and how to use these words correctly in sentences. So principle ending in LE is a general or basic truth on which other truths can be based and the source, origin or cause of something. Okay. That was the most simplified way I could give principle. Um, like I've said in the past, though, if you can't remember both, so let's in this case, both principles, just remember one. I like to remember the other one ending in P-A-L. Um, I mean, I know which one to use anyway, but I think using P-A-L is a little bit easier and I'll get into that once we move over to that one. So she doesn't have good principles. So we're kind of saying this person doesn't have good morals or values. He's a man of good principles. So he's the opposite to her. He does have good morals or values, things part, like part of his makeup, like that's how he's built, you know, not physically. I mean, like internally and any principle is better than none. So it's better to have these rules, guidelines, morals, values, rather than not having any at all. Now, principal, you say it principal, but I'm emphasizing the power here, P-A-L, is the most senior or most important person in an organization. So usually here in Australia, often we refer to the principal as you know, the head of a school. So in my case, my boss is the principal of my school. Um, maybe in other countries you refer to other types of people in other roles as principals, but usually in Australia, only from what I've heard, we usually only refer to the principal as the leader of the school, the head of the school, of any school, government, public, Oh, sorry, government is public, government, private, anything like that. Um, and I remember learning in uni when we were talking about applying for jobs, etc. on the cover letter, if you spell principal wrong, if you're addressing the school principal and you've spelled it ending in L-E, you're just not even going to get an interview because, you know, you're not going to be a very good teacher if you can't even spell principal right. And that person said, just remember, principal of the school is your pal. P-A-L, they're your friend, so spell it, P principal, P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L, they're your pal. So if that helps you remember this principle, hopefully you will know which one to use in the future. So let's have a look at some sentence examples. So the principal of our school assists staff and students. The original amount of money you borrowed for your home is the principal amount. And she has just been offered the principal position at the school. So she's been offered the lead position at the school. The principal amount would be the original that you borrowed. Um, therefore, I guess, making it the most senior amount. So let's test ourselves here. So what I'd like you to do is to write these down and fill in the blank spaces with the correct principle. So who is the principal here? The principal will have the final say. It's not just a matter of principle. It's made up of several principles. So pause the video and have a go. Okay, so I hope you've paused the video and filled in the blank spaces with the correct principle. Now let's check out which principle fits where. So the first one is principal, so our buddy, <laughs> who is the principal here. They're looking for the person who's most senior of the facility. Uh, the principal will have the final say. So maybe a student has just asked the teacher after doing something a bit naughty, um, oh, what's going to happen to me? Am I going to get suspended? And then we'll say, oh, well, the principal will have the final say of that. Um, it's not just a matter of principal. So it's not just a matter of, you know, guidelines, whatever. Um, it, and it's made up of several principles. Now let's have a look at this page. So it's the principle of it. These people lack the skills to understand the basic principles of physics. Is he a good and fair principal? And I must speak with the principal. 
So pause the video, write these down and fill in the blank spots. So I hope you've paused the video and you've had a go. Now let's check out the answers. So we've got the first one, it's the principle of it ending in LE. Um, the, these people lack the skills to understand the basic principles of physics, basic ideas, origins, you know, of physics. Uh, is he a good and fair principle? So we're talking about the leader. In my case, I'm just going to stick with the principle of a school. So is he a good and fair principle? Remember, he's our pal, so P-A-L, and I must speak with the principal. So you, maybe you're, maybe myself as the teacher, something's happened in the class and I go, oh, I need to speak to the principal about that. So how did you go? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video or how you went with principal or if there's um, something else you thought. Um, and in summary, just going over what they mean again, principal ending in LE is a general or basic truth on which other truths can be based or the source, origin or cause of something. And principal ending in P-A-L again, pronounce principal, the most important or senior person in an organization. So thank you for watching. Please um, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below of what you thought or how you went. Um, maybe you have a homophone that you would like me to make a video on for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.